Hi guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. So we're now at Chloe's Quiet Place. We're still in Chapter 1. I'm still not sure how much we have left of Chapter 1 before we actually reach Chapter 2, so uh, let's go. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Yeah, this is the nightmare, the lighthouse that she saw in her daydream earlier at school. Some littering. Oh. Oh, shit! Kick. Your white knight were here. I know you were worried about me. I hope he's fine. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, I swear. No problem, you slap. It's just like... No problem. Such a friend. Okay, we had a couple things to... Check around here, I guess. Okay, yeah. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house, with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy like when we were kids and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty, just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up, and it was David Madsen. I had to hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even scary off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. I couldn't take it, considering she almost died that morning. And I stepped out and said it was my weed. David tried to threaten me, but Chloe was awesome and threatened him. He backed out of there quick. Chloe was so touched I took the blame. Of course she did steal one of David's gun and waved it around like an idiot. Too much firepower for this girl to encounter in one day. Or one life. Fortunately, Chloe and I decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring like best friends. Alright. Well. Oh, this will be a great nature shot. I got you. Well, we've got one now. People can be such pigs. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Don't feed the Sasquatch, they shit. Stay away, white man. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Hmm. Okay, let's go see what Chloe's up to. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Can I go in there? No? Alright. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Okay, let's go see Chloe. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. I, can I take one? Yeah, I don't think she wants to have her picture taken. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my stepdork get played <laughs> makes me happy. 
I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Mm. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. So she did knows that he's... I did, actually. Oh, well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his hand. Oh! What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Police will do shit. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcady Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no. Something's going on. Nathan's even more of a shit ass than we thought. Is Chloe still up there? I have oh! to oh. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Oh, 
shit. The first time this happened, though, she was having just like a daydream at school. So I'm really curious to know what. Really curious to know what triggered this right now. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Actually, seeing the future. Oh. The tornado was headed straight for the town. Hmm. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my god, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? He totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Morgan gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so... No, no, I saw it! I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I... Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. More storms coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Installing a new camera. Fucking dick! Oh, okay, well, we're done with chapter one. She said there's four days before the storm, so I'm wondering if. The four remaining chapters are all like one day that you're gonna play before the tornado happens, if it does happen. Okay, they can show you the...
Hmm. Kind of curious how they will affect the next chapters. Okay, so the next ones have some... The Chloe ones, I mean, have some interesting choices. You blamed Chloe? Only 1%? Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay, next. I'm wondering if these are like the actual important choices. Because there's a whole list here. No one reorganized Victoria's photos. No one broke Chloe's snow globe. No one touched the pregnancy test. Hmm, it's really interesting. No one signed... Oh, wow, okay. No one signed the petition. I don't actually know what these choices represent, though. Like, who are they basing them on? But it's interesting. Interesting. Stop typing! I want to go back! You there, EP? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power if you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. I can't go back that far, smartass. And I need your help. Like when you told Stepdork it was your weed. But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass butter breakfast at two whales. My treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. Got a bail master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. <laughs> no emoji. Okay, this was uh, yesterday at night, and this is this morning. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. I don't think Max got high, though. I think Chloe was the only one. Okay, I'm Even with all this crazy shit going on, Wait, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life stop. again. I have things to, things to check before I go back to the game. Okay, I read this one. Alright. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse, watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare, or duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. And Chloe snapped me out of the dream and told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on another usual note, 
Snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous and beautiful all at once, especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. Okay. Yeah, we took another photo. So we're missing seven photos from the first chapter. I think I'm gonna try and be more vigilant this time around to try and get all of them. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't run it either. Mommy. I haven't answered a single one of her texts since she started. Like no time has passed. Okay. Take a shower. Oh, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. So she doesn't have English classes because of that. Life drawing. Cultural anthropology. This looks like interesting class section. Hmm. Would Man Ray call themselves your portraits? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with a Vuitton jacket? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Not this one, I hope. Now, I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. It does... I imagine it does kind of make you rethink everything in life that you talk about this fantasy. You can I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Oh, oh Lisa, I've left you on the brink of drought. Yes, that's so Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Seriously. Little mannequin face. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Okay, I was about to say, it's kind of ironic that the book is about time travel, but those look like books she actually rented specifically to learn more about time travel. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Oh, so she's been trying to understand her power? Hmm. Take a giant step backward for mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hmm. Interesting. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure okay, this so out. Okay, so she told Warren and he's been helping her with... I guess he's like her science friend, so... Makes sense. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but... Doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Hmm. I would say this is some crazy shit, but... Now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Ghoul Day's Black Hell Oween Party. Okay, can we actually participate in the Halloween party? Okay, let's. Cartier, Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Time. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. 
enchantment cards. Mystic enchantment. Is it supposed to be like Magic the Gathering? But... This totally reminds me of being a kid. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I think that's, yeah, that's just a menu. And that's just our phone. All right. Let's pick the shower supplies and go take a shower. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. No broke here. Snarking on everyone's door, trying to find someone. I need social. The marks of Satan. Can I write something else? No. Ow! They live. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Okay, that's what I thought. I heard... I heard something. Okay, it's still there. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. She just listens to us. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. It's the second time we told her to move away before something hits her. Why are they throwing shit at her constantly, though? Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice yeah. you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly, I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I don't know. Looper was very cool. Seriously, plays with your mind. They're I'm all still like trying to figure things. it out. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. They were all like time travel related movies. Watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. She's out there partying. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Curiosity killed the Max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. Hello, Victoria. All of the sexified. I've 
I've never seen Dana just bouncing and happy without a pot of coffee. She's supposed to be wearing a lacrosse tank top. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. It's a frog. I'm glad we talked. Crocodile. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, why? the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, my Max. Bitch Warren. So, are you coming to the party or not? I will absolutely go to the party. Why the fuck party? not? If I hate it, I can always go back yeah. to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for oh, a raid. Well, I don't know about it does that. sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yes, I will go to the Halloween party. Who's Juliet again? Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in oh. the hall, not her room. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I, guess I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. She's just playing. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. I think she likes Warren and she's jealous because Warren obviously likes Max. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Who's Stella? I don't remember seeing her. Go away! People sleeping! Well... Clearly not a morning person. Alright, let's go take a shower. Kate is there. She doesn't look okay. Kate is not good. Yeah. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. She doesn't look like she's doing very well. What's up, Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. 
Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. I thought being nice to her would actually influence her behavior, but obviously she doesn't give a shit. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Can we do something about this? <laughs> yeah, it's going to erase something. I, I better get been dressed been and go give back Kate's book. I should have been mean to her. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Also, I just came out of the shower. I don't need to wash my face. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. She bought a fucking domain name just for that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh, shit. Nathan's oh, revenge. Nathan. I didn't make the connection. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Nathan is fucking messed up, honestly. No book here. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay, I need to get dressed too, though. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Okay, it's different. I thought she was gonna wear the exact same outfit. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I come in for your ass. I know where you sleep. That's gotta be Nathan, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. You see, there's Monday, Tuesday, I think the other three chapters are gonna be all the days of the week. Oh, there's... Okay. 
I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray-cray, as Victoria might say, say, <laughs> events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Oh, shit. Not being warned, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. The drawing is really cute. With them hugging. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October country back. I love the book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria's everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale. Just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. I don't think there's any- Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. I'm pretty sure it's Nathan. If I'm not a- Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. She doesn't look very well. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your mother and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate really has a doting father. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. It's Keanu Reeves. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. He looks like Keanu Reeves in this picture. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be safe from eternal hell fire. Didn't the video go around yesterday? She already received a fucking letter about it. Good lord. Oh my god. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. I mean, it's still cool art, but it's very different from that kid's picture that she drew at the- uh, Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Safe, not sorry. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. 
I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you this. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It definitely looks like a very scary picture. It's not very warm or welcoming. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, hey Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because I had to, I guess. I had no choice. Yeah. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Mm. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't, watch I won't it. either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. She might have been drugged. Now that we know Nathan has tried it on Chloe, I wouldn't be surprised that he did it on someone else. I don't know why he has something against Kate, but they don't look like very good people in the first place, so... Yeah, that's awful. That's awful. So... How did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Yeah, I think she was... Drunk. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take oh, me to the no. hospital. Yeah. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. Did you do he was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He was not being nice. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. We need to do something about Nathan because that dick needs to get out of here. I don't want him here anymore. How is it that not a single person knows about... Like, not a single teacher seemed to know about that? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh my god. 
We told the principal last time and it turned badly for us. I don't know about that. I don't think she should go because the police does not very often help women in these sexual assault cases, so I think we should search ourselves. If you do that, they won't believe they you. They will not believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. They definitely Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. That's not what Thanks, I meant. Max. Oh my god. It's not what I meant. She just twisted my words. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. What did she say? Can I go faster than that? Yes. Okay. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. What if I say go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously I'm now. Witness. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just... I think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. She doesn't look like... She enjoys any answer we give her, so... Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Simply because I don't think the police will believe her, so I think this will be bad for both of us. If you do the- Okay. Max. Food. Two whales. See you there. Stopping here for today, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.